for a called strike one. You have to figure that sinker is going to be an important pitch for him here this afternoon. No question about it. Obviously, it's his ground ball pitch, so if you're a hitter, you're going to need to make him bring that pitch up a bit. Here it comes. This is past the mound and into center field for a base hit. And the throw in gets away from him. That's what you do against a sinker baller. If that ball's fading away, go right back up the middle with it. He just bounces this one right into center field. Vince Rodriguez will stand in. He grounded out his first time. Cliff Pennington will stand in. He grounded out his first time. Willene Rosario will stand in. He struck out and popped out in two trips. Swung on and hit in the air out toward left. And this is handled easily, so quickly two are gone here to start the fifth. Xavier St. John will dig in. He singled his last time around. First pitch on the way. St. John. Now a line drive that's hauled in at first base. Unlucky that time, and that ball will end the inning. So only one hit in the inning on the solo shot, but it's enough to push him out in front. Seventh inning coming up. It's the Diamondbacks three and the Rockies two. Corey Dickerson will pinch hit here, and he's the potential tying run. Corey Dickerson. Swing and a ground ball towards the hole. And no chance on the throw here as he reaches first easily. And when you're coming off the bench, the rule is get on base any way you can. And the last time I checked, an infield single meets those requirements. It's not pretty, but he'll take it. Offensively, we're led this afternoon by the man you see here, Alex Rios. Put that on a bubblegum card. He's our tops player of the game. Yeah, I think in the end, this really could have been anybody's Final award. But what the heck? Let's go ahead and give it to this. Xavier St. John will take his first shot here, and he's got to be looking forward to this because he has clobbered this guy in the past. Swing and a miss on a pitch in the dirt, and it's strike one. Eric, you take a look at these guys as they take the field for the bottom of the first here this afternoon. It was another loss last time out, and this portion of the schedule has not done him any favors as they've dropped five of their last seven. After the loss last time out, that sets up a rubber match here in the finale, so... I'm expecting this to be the best game of the three. Now the pitch. Swing and a ball hit hard on the ground at first. And he tries to go to a knee to block it, but it's by him down the right field line. 
just amazing what this guy's done with the bat this year. I mean, even when he's in a two-strike hole, he still finds a way to come through. Chris Owings will get his first chance at it now. Didn't factor much into the win yesterday as he took an 0 for 4 in the ballgame. Moises Sierra will stand in with a golden opportunity to open this thing up early on. Matt Pagnazzi will stand in. The eighth batter of the inning now with the bases loaded and two away. Tyler Matzik steps in now. Here comes a 1-2. Taken the other way toward left center and fairly deep. And this is into the alley and ought to be good for extra bases. Around third and being waved on home. And they show a little life here as the lead shrinks to 6-2 now. And he will pull into third with an RBI okay. triple. Uh, they were just a strike away from stranding that runner at first, but instead, he'll wind up coming all the way around to score on the clutch two-out triple. Xavier St. John will stride in again. He singled and later scored his first time. St. John. Here's the first offering. And this swing is wrapped out to Tulowitzki at short. Over to LeMayhew covering at the bag, and that ends the inning. One left for Arizona. They still lead it 6-4. to four. Michael McHenry will dig in here. He flew out his first time around. Here it comes. Ball swung on and lifted in the air with some carry out towards left center. He'll take this in without much trouble, and two are gone here to start the fourth. Charlie Blackman will make his way towards the box to lead off the fifth. Now a swing and a hard hit ball to short. And no chance on the throw here as he reaches first easily. And the key to this is that he's running hard out of the batter's box all the way. You know, with some guys, it's not always the case. But he is really busting it down the line, and he's going to get rewarded with the infield hit. Nolan Arenado will step in now. He's bounced out and flown out in his first two plate appearances. Ready with the 2-1. Here's Arenado with a drive. Well hit to left and deep. And this is going to plate at least two of those runners as it's down for extra bases. One run is scored. Around third and being waved on home. Now the third man has scored. Well, when we look back on this ball game, this might very well turn out to be the key at bat right here. Down by one, you got to think he's just trying to get that tying run home from third, but instead, 
He clears the bases with a three-run triple. Xavier St. John will dig in now. One for two to this point. Xavier St. John. First pitch coming. First pitch hacking here, and that's the first strike. You guys surprised at all that that man doesn't have the bullpen going yet? Well, he's showing a lot of faith in his starter, but to me, you've at least got to get someone stretching down there. Move him around a little bit. Now this is up and in, and I don't think he likes that location much. It's ball one. And giving up hits is one thing, but judging by that pitch, he doesn't have any consistency with that release point. He's all over the place. Oh, he rips this one to first, and that's a base hit. Now after the big inning your ball club just put together, you can't let them respond with a big inning of their own. But here they are with two on now and trying to answer right back. Xavier St. John will get another shot now. Two for three in the game. Xavier St. John. Now here's the first pitch. Down and away, one ball and no strikes. Pretty good speed here coming out of that left-handed batter's box, so it's no sure thing that a ground ball means a double play. The 1-0 pitch. And he reaches out for one and may have chased it as this is skied into the air to straightaway center. Blackman will put this one away, and that's out number two. This is not normally the kind of swing you associate with a good hitter like this. I mean, he's caught reaching for a pitch that he really has no business swinging at, and that becomes a very easy out. Nick Hundley will stand in now as he'll be getting his first plate appearance in this one here in the eighth. And the pitch. He sends it out to left field. Well hit. Gone! A mistake on 0-2 gets punished, and it's a home run. Into the on-deck circle now is Corey Hart as he'll be called on to pinch hit here. Xavier St. John will stand in now in what could be a real make-or-break situation. And you think at this point you have to get something out of this end. And hold that thought as this ball is through the infield for a base hit. Scoring is the runner from third, and that'll cut the lead down to one. I should have known better than to think that this thing wasn't going to get any closer. With all the runs that both these teams have put up, I'm going to stay away from making any more predictions. And a new pitcher is summoned from the bullpen as it'll be the left-hander Boone Logan that gets the call. Chris Owings will stand in with a showdown looming. Two on, two out here in inning number eight. Chris Owings. We'll see what he can do here. Two on, two away, two home here in the inning so far. Nick Hundley will stand in yet again, and he, of course, has had one of the big blows in the contest so far. This was back in the eighth as this solo shot proved to be a very important run in this ballgame. The 0-1. And this is hit well towards the hole. And that'll get past his outstretched glove. It's a base hit. And that's going to move that go-ahead run to second now with two gone. So now the possibility of a pinch hitter comes into play. And if that's the case, here's what the Rockies have remaining at their disposal. So it looks like we'll see a pinch hitter now. And it's the 2008 Olympian Nate Shearholtz that's moved into the on-deck circle. A handful of fine individual performances to choose from in this one, boys. But what do you say we go ahead and let this man take home the hardware? 